I'm going to show you a basic masking trick to give you a Saturn type effect, showing the rings around a planet but hiding one portion of it. Understanding masking is going to be key to understanding how to work with Affinity Designer or any other graphic illustration program. So we're going to go ahead and start with a basic ellipse and I'm going to change the fill color to blue. It doesn't matter. This just helps to get things to show up properly. There we go. And we're going to move this towards the center. Now I'm going to choose my donut tool and it's going to be the same color of blue. We're going to change it here in just a little bit. So I'm going to do that. We're going to move this to center. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and change the fill layer to red. Okay. Now what you're going to do in your layer here, you're going to move your ellipse or your planet up to the very top. You're going to take your rings and you're going to copy and create a new layer with your rings. Then with a layer just underneath it, it doesn't really matter which one, but I'm going to take the layer here and I'm going to move it into my ellipse layer so that it's going to create a masking in the vector persona. Now if you're not familiar with Affinity Designer, you have a vector persona and you have a pixel persona. The vector persona is whenever you do what I've just done, you have created a mask. Now if we were to make this layer the copy of the rings invisible, that's what it would look like. But what we're going to do is, doing it in the vector persona first is going to help. Now we're going to show the child layer, which this is the ring has made a child layer. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the pixel persona. Now this is how we're creating masks in the pixel persona. We're going to go ahead and choose the eraser tool. And remember, whenever you're choosing the eraser and doing a mask, white reveals, black conceals. What I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to conceal one of these rings. It doesn't really matter, but I'm going to choose the bottom one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to color. And this is hiding this. This is creating a mask layer. Now you'll notice that while I'm painting or erasing, it's not doing anything to any of these rings because this is a color copy. But if you were to zoom in on your mask, you would see that in the mask layer, this is what this black and white is, this mask layer shows a lot more that's erased, but you can't tell because of the rings that I have copied. If we were to make this invisible, that's what it would look like. So that is what's going on with this. And that is, that is how to create a basic rings around a planet. Now you can take this principle and work it towards any of your designs. But in this, what I did is created in the vector persona, I created a masking layer by moving one of these rings underneath the planet. I'm gonna go ahead and collapse it so that it would do that. And then I created a copy of this underneath it so that whenever I went into my pixel persona, I would be able to erase the bottom ring down here. And remember, I had the color set on black. This is where you adjust your pixel persona. I had the color set to black because I wanted to totally conceal it. So if you wanted to learn more about this, um, you know, watch the video again. And I'm going to have a link to this Affinity Designer project file in my Dropbox. Okay, hope this helps somebody. Later.